it's Tessa from HandleTheHeat.com and today I'm sharing a totally decadent, scrumptious pie recipe. It's for chocolate caramel French silk pie. It's a little bit of a twist and it's perfect for any holiday dessert table or any special occasion. And I think it's extra perfect for Thanksgiving because typically with Thanksgiving, we don't have any chocolate on the dessert table. There's pumpkin pie, apple pie, pecan pie. Where's the chocolate? So this is my solution for a perfect chocolate Thanksgiving pie. This recipe does require some work and it is a little bit complicated, but I'm going to be showing you exactly how to make it step by step. So if you'd like to learn how to make this chocolate caramel French silk pie, then just keep watching. Also, one more note about this recipe, unlike most French silk pie recipes, this one has no raw eggs, so you can serve it to children, you can serve it to elderly, you can serve it to pregnant women without having any worries, which makes it even more perfect for a big family gathering. First things first, let's get started with our crust. Now, unlike more traditional French silk pies, which require a difficult, time-consuming homemade pastry dough crust, or I guess you could also buy one store-bought, but they're kind of nasty. Instead, I am doing something much simpler, which is just an Oreo cookie crust. I just take in 20 full, regular stuffed Oreos, ground them up in my food processor, and added in some melted butter to moisten. And I'm going to place this in a nine-inch pie dish that's been sprayed with cooking spray. And what I like to do is press it down down into the pan with the bottom of a measuring cup and this one is extra perfect from OXO because it actually has a slanted side which makes it perfect for forming a nice even crust. And I'm going to toss this in a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes or until it's fragrant and set and then let it cool completely while I get started on my caramel. So for my caramel here I have one and a half cups of granulated sugar. I just added a quarter teaspoon of salt and three tablespoons of light corn syrup. We want this caramel to stay nice and soft and not get too hard because French silk pie is refrigerated and we don't want it to get rock hard in the fridge. So I'm also adding six tablespoons of just regular water and I'm bringing this to a boil without stirring until a candy thermometer reaches 340 degrees Fahrenheit. And I actually realized that my candy thermometer wasn't completely um, down at the bottom of my pan. So I think I did cook this a little bit over 340 degrees, which is why it's so dark. Luckily it didn't burn. I added in five tablespoons of room temperature butter and two thirds cup of heavy cream and a little splash of vanilla. And as you can see, my caramel's coming together quite nicely. It's still really hot though, so I'm gonna let it cool a little bit more before I pour it into my cooled baked pie crust. And this is going to go in the fridge for about an hour or maybe a little bit longer until the caramel is nice and firm. While that's in the fridge, I'm going to move on to my filling. And this is the French silk filling. In a saucepan, I'm whisking together two eggs with two thirds cup granulated sugar. And I'm gonna cook this over low heat until the mixture reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit and coats the back of a spoon. So I'm going to immediately remove that from the heat and then add in a splash of vanilla and four ounces of melted unsweetened chocolate and just stir that until it's nice and incorporated and then I'm gonna let it cool until it's just warm. While that's cooling, I'm taking five tablespoons of unsalted room temperature butter and giving that a mix in my stand mixer until it's nice and fluffy and I'm slowly, gradually adding in that melted chocolate egg mixture. And this is going to form the basis of, half the basis of my French silk filling. The other half is actually whipped cream. So I'm gonna get started on that once this chocolate mixture is all nice and incorporated. So in a clean bowl with the whisk attachment, I've just whisked a two thirds cup of heavy cream. And now I'm adding two teaspoons of powdered sugar and giving that a good whisk until um, it has hard peaks, so until the cream can kind of stand on its own when I whip it up from the pan. And now that that's all whipped up, I'm actually going to take that chocolate mixture that we've just mixed and gently fold it into the whipped cream. So once I fold it in the chocolate until everything is just incorporated, 
This is going to be spread out over the caramel layer in my pie. And I'm going to spread it out nice and evenly, and then it's actually going to go to the fridge to chill for six hours or overnight. And we want to chill it for a long time so that everything is nice and solid and the pie is easy to slice and is nice and neat. If we were to refrigerate it for less time, it might be more difficult to slice into nice, even slices. So at this point, my pie is about 99% done, and the nice thing is that every element of this pie can be done ahead of time, and it can be made almost just until it's finished pretty far in advance. You can have it sitting in the fridge for a day or two. And for a finishing touch, I'm just adding in more whipped cream and some chocolate shavings on top so that it looks absolutely beautiful. And your guests' mouth will be watering once they see this pie, especially when they see the hidden caramel layer underneath. Okay, so that is how you make this chocolate caramel French silk pie. I really hope you give this recipe a shot because as you can see from my empty pie plate, this pie basically didn't last longer than 10 minutes. Everyone wanted a slice, everyone wanted seconds. It's that delicious. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see next time. If you know any chocoholics or pie lovers who would love this recipe, please share this video. I would love it so much if you did and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you around next time with another food video.